Holy, 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 Lord God Almighty, early in the morning our song shall rise to Thee. Holy, 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 merciful and mighty, God in the persons, blessed Trinity. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, amen. The Lord be with you. Today we'll celebrate the votive Mass in honor of St. Joseph. Brethren, let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mystery. I confess to Almighty God and to my brothers and sisters that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts, my words, what I have done, what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore I ask, Blessed Mary, ever Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Lord, have mercy. Christ have mercy, Lord have mercy. Let us pray. O God, who in your inexpressible providence were pleased to choose St. Joseph as spouse of the Most Holy Mother of your Son, grant, we pray, that we who revere him as our protector on earth may be worthy of his heavenly intercession through the Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Read from the first book of Kings. <clears throat> Ahab sent to all the children of Israel and had the prophets assemble on Mount Carmel. Elijah appealed to all the people and said, How long will you straddle the issue? If the Lord is God, follow him. If Baal, follow him. People, however, did not answer him. So Elijah said to the people, I am the only surviving prophet of the Lord, and there are 450 prophets of Baal. Give us two young bulls. Let them choose one, cut it into pieces, and place it on the wood, but start no fire. I shall prepare the other and place it on the wood but shall start no fire. You shall call on your gods, and I will call on the Lord. The God who answers with fire is God. All the people answered, agreed. Elijah then said to the prophets of Baal, choose one young bull, 
and prepare it first. For there are more of you. Call upon your gods, but do not start the fire. Taking the young bull that was turned over to them, they prepared it and called on Baal from morning to noon, saying, Answer us, Baal. But there is no sound and no one answering. And they hopped around the altar they had prepared. When it was noon, Elijah taunted them. Call louder, for he is a god, and may be meditating. Or maybe he is retired. Or maybe on a journey. Ah, perhaps he's asleep and must be awakened. Mm -hmm. They called out louder and slashed themselves with swords and spears, as was their custom until blood gushed over them. Noon passed. They remained in a prophetic state until the time for offering sacrifice. But there was not a sound. No one answered. And no one was listening. And Elijah said to all the people, Come here to me. When the people had done so, he repaired the altar of the Lord that had been destroyed. He took 12 stones for the number of the tribes of the sons of Jacob, to whom the Lord had said, Your name shall be Israel. He built an altar in honor of the Lord with the stones. He made a trench around the altar large enough for two measures of grain. When he had arranged the wood, he cut up the young bull and laid it on the wood. Fill four jars with water, he said, and poured it over the burnt offering and over the wood. Do it again, he said, and they did it again. Do it a third time, he said, and they did it a third time. The water flowed around the altar, and the trench was filled with the water. At the time for offering sacrifice, the prophet Elijah came forward and said, Lord God of Abraham, Isaac, and Israel, let it be known this day that you are God in Israel, that I am your servant, and have done all these things by your command. Answer me, Lord, answer me, that this people may know that you, Lord, are God, and that you have brought them back to their senses. The Lord's fire came down and consumed the burnt offering, wood, stones, and dust, and it lapped up the water in the trench. Seeing this, all the people fell prostrate and said, The Lord is God. The Lord is God. The word of the Lord. Keep me safe, O God, you are my hope. Keep me, O God, for in you I take refuge. I say to the Lord, my Lord are you. Keep me safe, O God, you are my hope. They multiply their sorrows, who court other gods. Blood libations to them I will pour out, nor will I take their names upon my lips. Keep me safe, O God, you are my hope. O Lord, you allotted my portion and my cup. You it is who hold fast my lot. I set the Lord ever before me. With him at my right hand, I shall not be distributed, disturbed. 
Keep me safe, O oh God, you are my hope. You show me the path to life. Fullness of joys in your presence. The delights at your right hand forever. Keep me safe, O oh God, you are my hope. Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. Teach me your paths, my God, and guide me in your truth. Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Jesus said to his disciples, Do not think that I have come to abolish the law of the prophets. I have come not to abolish, but to fulfill. Amen, I say to you, until heaven and earth pass away, not the smallest letter or the smallest part of a letter will pass from the law until all things have taken place. Therefore, whoever breaks one of the least of these commandments, teaches others to do, this, do so will be called least in the kingdom of heaven. But whoever obeys and teaches these commandments will be called greatest in the kingdom of heaven. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. If you're driving in your car, and you're driving down a back street in Los Angeles or Orange, if you're in the area you're driving from Carson into Lincoln, and you drive for about four miles, maybe five, you're probably going to lift up your gaze and see at least 10 different churches. the Presbyterian Christian Church, the Four Square Church, Calvary Chapel, the Lutheran Church, the Episcopalian Church, the Church of the Latter-day Saints, maybe Catholic Church, you're going to be bombarded with so many different churches. Since the time of Martin Luther, each one of those Protestant churches is going to be teaching a different doctrine. I make that connection to the first reading pretty long, but pretty significant. There was only one true prophet then in 450 prophets of Baal. The only authentic prophet, his name was Elijah. He was surrounded by 450, that's a big number. That's the prophet of Baal, prophet that was teaching a false religion. And the king told Elijah there to, to preach with these false prophets. And all the people were, were, were looking, looking on. 
And that one prophet, Elijah, was to prove that these guys were, they were false prophets. They were fake. They were counterfeit. If you go to the store with a $3 bill, it's not going to work. It's phony. How did he prove that these guys were false? He had to trust God a lot in what he was doing. Because if it backfired, he'd have his head in his hands right away. What did he do? Well, he set up an altar. He got two young bulls, one for himself and the other for them. He told them to prepare it, place it on the altar, then to call upon their God to see if God would come down and consume that holocaust, that offering. So they agreed to the deal and all the people were watching for several hours. And the prophets, what were they doing? They were jumping up and down. They were jumping, they were dancing in front of it and calling upon their God. And Elijah taunted them. You know, maybe he's, uh, maybe he's doing his holy hour. He didn't use her, he did, he, uh, maybe, maybe he's meditating, huh? Maybe he's, uh, maybe he's taking a walk. Uh, you know, maybe he's tired, maybe he's taking a siesta. You kind of got to, you got to wake him up, you know? You know, maybe he's on vacation. So Elijah taunts them. And they actually take their spears and their, Knives and they start to gash themselves and they're filled with blood. But it seems as if God doesn't hear them. God doesn't hear them because they're calling out to a false God that doesn't exist. If you were to call out to your son, Bill, a million times your son, Bill, is not going to come because you don't have a son whose name is Bill, right? You could be calling out as many times you want, Bill, come on home. He's never going to come home because you, pro you don't have a son that's Bill. You don't even have a son. Your son's name Bill? Oh. So calling out to a false god, he's never going to hear you because that false god, false god doesn't even exist. In Elijah. It's a powerful passage. They got all the prophets, the people, the king, they're looking at this prophet. He's got a lot of confidence because he trusts God. What does he do? He prepares the, sets up the altar, 12 stones and out of the 12 tribes of Israel. And he takes the Sacrifice, he cuts it into pieces, places it on the altar. What does he do? He asks them to bring in water. Buckets of water and to just douse the altar. Not once. Not twice. Three times. Number of perfection. There's so much water that the water has overflowing the trenches that surround the altar. It's deluged with water. Now, how on earth is God going to come down and consume that? So he calls upon the God of Isaac, Jacob, and Israel and fire comes down from heaven. 
it consumes the sacrifice, it consumes the Holocaust, and it consumes everything. And the fire comes down and it consumes all the water so that nothing is present there after the fire descends. And the people say, the Lord, the God of Israel, the Lord of Elijah, he's the true God. He's the Lord. He's the Lord. They didn't ask, they, 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 they didn't um, finish, the. they didn't leave us the last passage. You know what it was? Elijah got out his knife. Four hundred fifty times, he slashed the throats of the false prophets. You're going to see that Queen Jezebel is not going to be. A, she's not going to be a happy camper because they were her prophets from the false gods. He's going to take to his heels and he's going to head off. <laughs> you probably would too. She's going to say, you're not going to live. I promise under a vow, the same thing is going to happen to you. So you're going to be taking off. Do you think there's some prophet, false prophets out there today? That's why I started with that trip you're making from Carson to Lincoln, Lincoln to Knott's Berry Farm, not Knott's Berry Farm to Disneyland, huh? You see all these different churches. There are so many false prophets today, so many. I'd like to give you three suggestions. Read the Catechism of the Catholic Church. Read the Catechism. Have you read it and memorized it? Hopefully you've read it and you know the basics. There you have the, the modern Elijah. His name is John Paul II. Number two. All of you get good spiritual direction. Number three, tune into this Mass and make sure that you do your holy hour. I think if we do those three things, we're on the narrow path. The Catechism of the Catholic Church teaches us the truth. I just finished teaching two hours of that the past two hours. Huh? And I already explained the f number five in the Catechism of the Catholic Church. You know what that is? It explains what Catechism is. Catechism is education of the faith. Children, adolescents, and adults. Many adults are 50, 60, maybe 70 years old. The last time they started their catechism, they were eight years old. So they've got the body of an adult, but often a mind of a little kid that's eight or nine years old. Because they have not pursued what is called permanent formation. I really feel as my thrust as a priest heading toward the twilight of, of, of my existence, as the poet puts it, I really dedicate myself to teaching and preaching. Because if we do not have the light of truth, we can fall into the trap of the modern Baals. The modern Baals, the modern false prophets, there are so many out there. So let's try to get to know the truth, because the truth will set us free. Amen.
because of God's love for us, we dare to say, our Father who art in heaven, hear our prayer. You created us from nothing. May we live always before you in thanksgiving and praise. Our Father who art in heaven, hear our prayer. You chose us out of love. May we grow daily in our love for you. Our Father who art in heaven, hear our prayer. You redeemed us through the gift of your Son's incarnation, death, and resurrection. May we think and act as faithful witnesses to the gospel. Our Father who art in heaven, hear our prayer. God, our Father, your love for the world you created is without measure. May we grow each day toward the fire of your love for us, reflected in and through your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth, and work of human hands will become for us the bread of life. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, and for through goodness we have received the wine we offer you. For the divine and work of human hands will become our spiritual drink. Pray, brethren, my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. As we prepare to offer the sacrifice of praise, O Holy Father, we ask to be sustained in our service by the prayers of St. Joseph, whom you called to watch like a father on earth over your only begotten son who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just to our duty and our salvation always and ever to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty, Eternal God, and in honoring St. Joseph to give you fitting praise, to glorify you and bless you. For this just man was given by you, espoused to the Virgin Mother of God, and set as a wise and faithful servant, in charge of your household, to watch like a father over your only begotten son, who conceived by the overshadowing of the Holy Spirit, our Lord Jesus Christ. Through him, the angels praise your majesty. The minions adore and powers tremble before you. Heaven and the virtues of heaven and the blessed seraphim worship together with exaltation. May our voices, we pray, join with theirs in humble praise as we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord. 
God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy there for these earth we pray by sending down your spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he's betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, gave, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new, new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for, and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. <clears throat> Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation. Giving thanks, you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partake in the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world. Bring it to the fullness of charity together with Francis, our Pope, Jose, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy in us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles and all the saints, will please you throughout the ages. We may merit to be co heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. The Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. Forgive us our trespasses. We forgive those who trespass against us. 
that is not temptation, but delivers from evil. Amen. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days. That by help of your mercy we may be always free from sin, safe from all distress, as you await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. With the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not in our sins, but on the faith of your church. And grace is the grant of peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Let us offer to each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins world, grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy it should enter my roof, but only say the word, my soul shall be healed. Well done, good and faithful servant. Come share your master's joy.
suppose the Blessed Sacrament spend some time talking to the Blessed Lord, our best friend, our God and our Savior. <clears throat> Sacrament, most holy, O sacrament divine, all praise and all things given be every moment thine. Sacrament, most holy, O sacrament divine, all praise and all things given be every moment thine. Sacrament, most holy, O sacrament divine, all praise and all things given be every moment thine.
Let us pray. <clears throat> Stored by these life-giving sacraments, Lord, may we live for you always in justice and holiness, helped by the example and intercession of St. Joseph, when carrying out your great mysteries, served you as a man just and obedient through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Go in peace. Thanks be to God. Hail, Holy Queen, enthroned above, O Maria. Hail, Mother of mercy and of love, O Maria, triumph all ye cherubim, sing with us ye cherubim, heaven and earth resound a hymn, salve, salve, salve Regina.